Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've actually played this. Uh, I got rather distracted. Uh, but luckily, in the meantime, some stuff happened. Uh, namely, we actually got new updates to Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, I'm back. So I realized that my face was actually covering... My face was actually covering the combo counter in the last few videos. After I quote unquote, you know, fixed it and had my face on the other side. That was a perfect fight, that was awesome. I see that worm and I want him. Oh, it's a berserker. Alright. So yeah, um... Lord of the Rings Netflix show. Or not, not well. Yeah. The reason that it's like it is is because they want that sweet, sweet Netflix money. Specifically the Witcher and Game of Thrones money. Um, like desperately, desperately, they want that. I think this is just a generic. I mean, it's not a generic guy, but anyway, Amazon's original streaming series, Lord of the Rings, War of the Rings, The Rings of the Rings. Uh, is starting to get groundswell and some sizzle. Recently, some photos were... Recently, some photos of the cast in costume were produced. Grab some of that back. Thank you. Stay on your guard. He might come back. Uh, and there's a lot of weirdo neckbeards who are getting all up in arms about it. One of the ladies is a dwarf queen, and, uh, she's black, so, obviously, that's a problem for weirdos. I mean, by weirdos, I mean racists. Let's be clear here. I am supportive of having a, uh, both a dwarven queen. A uh, queen being charged of the dwarves. I'm fine with that. I mean, my problem is with monarchy in general, but like... The fact that the dwarves are being led by a queen instead of a king is not something I have issue with. Though I am a little upset she doesn't have a beard. I know that that's not canon. But the thing is, is that it's not canon in the way that it's not not canon, you know? And, like, people do often take the books as, like, essentially holy texts that should not be deviated from, but some of my favorite things in the movies are things that are deviations from the book. I don't think the books are perfect. They're really, really good, to be sure. But they're not perfect books. No, no book is. But... If they're going to run with movie canon, which has uh, Gimli talking about how you can't tell dwarven men and dwarven women apart. Or males and females, I guess. Men is for humans. Um, and Aragorn makes reference to his chin. He says, it's the beards. First and foremost, that's really funny. And second, if it's not the beards, then there must be some reason why you can't tell apart the dwarven men and women. Is that guy wearing his shirt? One of his minions was sent here to or is his like head and skin like different colors? Let me gather my men. The serpents of Sauron are foes beyond any of you. It's true. 
Get your people out of Mordor tonight, or you'll all be dead by dawn. I guess he's probably like one of the only shirtless like men no in this right. game, so maybe they just didn't model it and hoped nobody would yeah. notice. It's time. Goodbye, my friend. Uh, yeah. This guy is so, like, funny to me. Like, he has this awesome, super cool armor. But he has no faceplate, so he just has this dumb, like, dude face back there. They all perished in battle, my lord. All except me. War Chief Ratbag. Fortunately, you are still alive. <laughs> Now, bring me the head of this grave walker. Walmart Dagoth Ur voice. Bring the head yourself. He's just standing there and nobody saw him walk up. He didn't have a cool intro or anything. Where was your bravery <laughs> when we bled your wife and got him your son? Like, I know you're getting a rise out of me, but you're holding my arms. Like, it was a very intentional thing. I wasn't just, like, standing there and watching you do that, be like, damn, I would rather that you not do that. You know? So, this is a semi-common thing, especially in Arkham games. By that I mean Arkham-style games. But boss fights are often, like, kind of rough sometimes, you know? You know, because, like, the whole game is built around, oh, he grabs me. Just trying to get my kills in. I wonder if I can tie his feet down. True metal pain. Yeah, I'm just trying to go for the little achievement to grab and shank some orcs. Maybe this will work. Damn it. No, I'm actually just, like, really holding back. I assure you. Maybe I can run from him. Is his name just the hammer? That's so lame. Here we go. I'm using that cool special DLC rune. I know that's a little cheating, but you know what? Game's letting me do it. Game didn't tell me not to. But yeah, um, on the topic of the uh, Amazon show again, I'm not worried about the show because, you know, they changed these things from the books or there's anything else like that. I'm worried about it because it's an Amazon production and it was not made because they want to have, like, a cool, authentic Lord of the Rings show. They did it because Game of Thrones made a lot of money and the movies made a lot of money. And they wanted to just... They wanted to have a, a valuable profit. Can I just, like, shoot him? Can I shoot him twice? Uh, I gotta get in and finish him. Pardon me, sir. That's pretty rich coming from a man who's currently on his hands and knees. How does your vengeance taste, Talion? Is not the darkness sweet? You know what, man? Mmm, it is. The fact that he lacks a face 
plate is probably intentional to make him look less cool than he would be. Because, like, if you fight the first boss and it's just Sauron, then, like, what's the point, you know? Where do we go from there? I'm an elf. I would have been insufferable about it, at least. Or only with the dead. I mean, I'm dead. It would make the most sense for me to talk to the dead. My name is Lothario, from the Sea of Nernan. My mother said you would be here. And here you are. Well, Lothario from the Sea of Nernan. You should have stayed where you were. There's nothing here. I should know. Lady Marwyn, Queen of the Shore, wishes an audience with you. I am in the market for a new wife. <laughs> Queen who sees visions. That's visions of the return of the great Celebrimbor. <laughs> He's so derisive about it. He's like, "Oh yeah, visions of the future." Like he's not a corpse tied to a ghost having visions of the past. I mean, really. I must gather provisions. The return to Nernan is long and treacherous. I'm never not going to think about Jotaro Kujo in uh, Stardust Crusaders just being like, a vampire? Grandpa. That's ridiculous. As like, he's tied to a mystical punch ghost that can move faster than a speeding bullet. And he learned that everyone has one. We have defeated the Hammer of Sauron, but the Black Hand and the Tower remain. And their master. Oh yeah, I love this game. Oh, this game's so good. Oh, sorry, I'm freaking out. <clears throat> but yeah, like... I've heard that Bezos himself is actually a fan of Lord of the Rings, which is, I think, somewhat silly. Because the person he's most like in Lord of the Rings is Grimma Wormtongue. Easy. And like, again, I, I just, I don't trust people making shows for that much money. Now that that much money is riding on it, money has a way of eroding uh, art. This track is pretty good. Didn't kill that guy. That's not good. Aw, oh, man. The whole of the box doesn't count as a whole. It's just a little thing in the model. So you can actually drain your mounts. And it'll hurt them, but you get the elf shot like you would for a normal drain. Oh, I've got an ability as well. Oh, word. Shadow Strike Kill, Wraith Finisher, that's kind of rad. Brace of Daggers, it's the Batarang, but more so. Uh, I'll probably hold on to that, I'll probably grab that actually. I will not hold on to my point. So I realize also that now that I've moved my thing down here, now I actually can't see, not everyone can see the controls. But you know what? That's okay. There's got to be something, you know? I guess the top right might be the best place to move my web camera. On account of the, uh, like, fact that it only covers some of the text sometimes. Oh man, and they're archers? Word up. Oh 
Yeah, this mechanic of like the reason that the reason that your uh, quests are so specific and they're like these super hard super challenges. Like in Watch Dogs, for example, this is just one off the top of my head because I remember coming upstairs multiple times and seeing that my dad was still playing Watch Dogs for the 360 and that he was still trying the same challenges. And I remember doing that like all day and it was like a challenge that he spent all day on. And like, I couldn't fathom somebody caring that much about Watch Dogs for the 360. But it's just this uh, challenge where you have to drive a motorcycle across the entire map in like a, in like a minute or something. You know, something like that. Oh, cool. And I remember, like, him just, you know, beating his head against it. Because it's a hard challenge, you know? Yes. You completed half the legend. I looked away. I should have looked. This is as far as far in as it zooms. It's a little uh whatever, that's probably fine. Oh, is there a the yeah, here we go. So I'm four four hundred away from that. I'm 3.30 from that, and all of those as well. Cool. Thank you for your service. Let's figure out where we're going next. But yeah, ordinarily, like... Quests and missions for that are, like, so specific and weird, and, like... Sometimes it's for no reason, but the logic in this game that it's like, it's something that already happened. It's a story that is well known and famous in the world. And you're not like, I guess that's a new one. So maybe I should do that. And you're not, like, doing anything new. You're just matching the legend of the thing that already happened. And, like, no one thinks that it happened. I think that's really cool. I think that's a really cool idea and a smart mechanic. Squealer. I love the name Warchief. Make this Uruk scream and his master shall answer. Word up, Calibrimbor. Let's solve some problems, huh? Slave lover. Oh boy. I don't know if I like that. You know what? I really like that slaves won't like freak out if you're nearby. Because you know what? They're not snitches. I thought you were looking away from me. Sorry, sir. I'll be right on my way. Ugh. If nothing else, I recommend playing this game just for the awesome, awesome, awesome sound effects. And the combat. And the, like, gameplay ideas. Look, there's a lot of good in this game. There's a lot of reason that somebody would want to play this game. Mm, better not. I feel like the weirdest thing about a dead Uruk is that, like, you just don't know who, the guy who did it. Like, normally he would, uh, he would brag about it, you know? Oh, that guy stepped in fire, and he hates burns. But he hasn't seen me, so that doesn't actually mean anything. That's kind of funny. Whoops. Let's go back up. Let's do this, actually. Oh, 
I don't know if it's been mentioned, but that little symbol means that they're just going to call the alarm. Hold on, not you. Damn. More main missions. So I actually need to do... This is one thing that I feel like is kind of weak about this game. The idea that you need to, like, go and do, uh, like, what would be a side quest in any other game. I, I feel like it is a weakness, you know? But it's the game, and I'm playing it, so that's what we're doing. Nobody here. Don't mind me. Pardon me, gentlemen. Maybe gentleman doesn't work on account of that being like the name used for like a species and all. Maybe I should just be like, excuse me, friends, you know, like how that might be cool. Hey, Grants, join me or you get the X. Follow you. You're pathetic. Did you hear that? I won't. I see elf shot. I think I'm gonna. I'm thinking I'm putting together a plan. <laughs> oh, the archer was weak to arrows. That's funny. He's not, though. How about this? You must have some kind of death wish, you stupid son. Ah, well, fair enough. Hey, you know what? Fair play to you. This isn't what I meant to go. Pardon me. Maybe I can thin this herd out a little, huh? Those aren't words, sir. I'm sorry to say. Oh, did I think somebody else got him. I think that was friendly fire. How about that? Can I clear some space out with this? Clear. 
Alright, I want to hear something. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned this, um, but I see you is obviously like a reference to Sauron, because you know he does a lot of that whole scene. Gnarly, he does a lot of that whole scene stuff on account of his uh, the eye thing. The great eye is ever watchful. It's like a whole thing. Let's try this again. Make this Uruk scream, and his master shall answer. Ugh, you're ugly, dude. I've seen a lot of ugly orcs, but you are really ugly. You know, I want the next... This is, this is again, going back to the older topic. I want the next, like, big fantasy fiction super show that costs a million dollars to make. I want it to have, like, a bad budget, you know? Like, I want there to be, like, a Discworld show. And, like... Trolls are just like a guy with like a rock tied to his head, you know? Like not even a prop rock. Like he's carrying around a real rock so you know that he's an orc. Or a troll, rather. Lord Vetinari's throne room should be a guy's house. I'll say it. Oh, that ain't good. You don't wow. Me. Just one man. Is this supposed to be a joke? To the Oh man. You have to be stopped. Yeah. You know what? That's on me. <laughs> you also cut it out, please. Right, can't just fight him. Can we clear some of you out? Nope. Apparently not. <laughs> oh, it's so gnarly. Perhaps I will. Damn it. Well, you know what? Trying very hard to not kill that guy. Now you. Wait, did I? I might have just done the wrong thing. Crimp the rat. Oh, there we go. Nope. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. 
Yeah, I just went through it too fast. And he escaped. I mean, that should do it for this episode, though, right? I can do this off camera, and maybe I will. Uh, but until then, this has been Middle Earth Shadow of Mortar. Thank you all for watching. I've been Alfred, that's short for Alfredric. And I had a good time. I hope you did too. See you guys next time. Bye.